Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Photo Quick Tip. Uh, today we've got one for Photo Mechanic. Uh, photo Mechanic is one of my most favorite tools. Uh, I use it in almost all my jobs and that, and it's, uh, it's just an invaluable tool. Um, so anyhow, this scenario we're talking about today is, is capture date, time. Uh, you know, sometimes when you're working professionally, say in a wedding setting and stuff like that, you uh, are shooting a wedding with a second shooter. And what happens if the second shooter or you forget to synchronize your cameras, right? And if you don't synchronize your cameras date and time, all the pictures of the wedding are going to be out of order. Uh, you won't be able to piece the, uh, easily piece the wedding together. Uh, so it's nice to be able to come in here and use Photo Mechanic to correct the dates so that you can make an adjustment. Another example is, let's just say uh, I went on vacation to Paris here and uh, I forgot to set my date when I got in Paris. So everything is a day off uh, on the capture date. Um, so it's nice to be able to come in here and change the capture date so that I can keep my catalog straight and in order. Um, and uh, capture one and you know, Photoshop, Lightroom, they all can do this, okay? But today I'm just going to show you how to do it in Photo Mechanic, okay? So here I've got uh, uh, six pictures from, from Paris, okay? And if we look on it, okay, the capture date is 1-1-11, 2011, all right? And if you look at that and you go, oh, that's 2011, they're all wrong, okay? Okay. Um, didn't get the didn't get the battery changed in the camera didn't get it set so how do i correct that okay it's really easy uh if you want to just correct one photo just select the one photo that you want to work on okay and then go up to tools and then uh change adjust capture date and time okay now what's really nice about this interface is it's very versatile to real life scenarios. So let's say I forgot to do it for, because of time change. Well, I can come in here to this top section and I can just say, okay, uh, move it down an hour. Let's say I had a, you know, one hour time change. I could just do that and then process the image and it'll adjust the image back one hour. Or if it was a year off on the camera, I could do that or a month and so forth. Uh, so it's really easy to, to correct the capture date. Now, way to do this here too is better. Let's see you doing a batch of photos. Like I got six here. So hold your shift key down and select all of them. Okay. Now when I do the uh, capture and time, okay, I can turn around and say, okay, let's shift everything an hour. All right. So one hour because we had a time change. And you see right now it's at 211 AM, all right, I just select this little box to adjust. Uh, Photo Mechanic's gonna give me a warning. Uh, it's just telling us that we're gonna affect multiple pictures. And I hit okay, it's warning me, hey, you're gonna do this to all these photos, Are you sure you wanna do it? I hit yes, and boom, now the, all the photos have been uh, changed. Okay, now if you look at the thing, now we're all to 11 AM. And they're all with the capture date to 11 a.m. So that's it. A simple quick tip, but it actually comes in very handy, especially if you're shooting professionally uh, or working with other shooters, you know, second shooters, third shooters. Um, synchronizing the camera date and time is a big benefit to cataloging and working with our images. So that'll do it. Just a little quick tip. Hope you guys are having a great holiday. Talk to you later.